some of the programs produced in 1992 by Larchmont Mamaroneck Community Television's wonderful volunteer producers. The Mamaroneck Volunteer Fire Department's inspection night was covered by producer Julie O'Claire. The difficult situation surrounding date rape and Rita Blockton's widest sleep. Larchmont Landscape, celebrating Mayor Miriam Kernan's 11 years in office by producer Alice Bloom. Central School presents a tour of the Western Hemisphere by Sheila Cohen. Producer Lynn Crowley's picturesque A Day in the Life of Larchmont and her Larchmont International, where she visits with foreign folks who reside locally. Hank Serasoli's Local Sports Hour covers the games of Rhineck High School. Eileen Deutsch presented Volunteers 92 and along with Debbie Slansky produced Fishing Rodeo 92. Eileen also dealt with her own bout with breast cancer in Nothing is Mightier Than the Sword. Eileen also produced the live call-in show Larchmont Bomera next summer along with co-producer Greg Fetterbush. The Old Timers Athletic Association and the Mamaroneck Historical Society's Historical Marker Dedication by this year's Volunteer of the Year, Frank DeVincent. Greg Fetterbush drove home America's Love Affair, our ongoing relationship with the automobile. Julio Gutierrez presented positive black images in the 90s on location at Harbor Island Park. Drawing on her gift as a painter, Mary Hargrave brought his portraits in perspective. Producer John Heffernan discussed issues with prominent figures on men at their best. Sue Hertz presented the Larchmont's League of Women Voters local edition of the National Issues Forum. Larchmont Mayor Cheryl Louie gave us Larchmont notes. The beautiful sights of the Manor Park Centennial at Fountain Square, captured by Bill Latower and Mike Kochi. Frank Marafino's Mamaroneck Sports Hour. Pat Michelizzi's Standing Room Only. Bruce McNichols' It'll Get Better. Susan Spencer Marola's Of Mice and Mozart by the Chatsworth Avenue School. Prolific producer Jeff Montanero's Dreadnought Concert Series and with Sven Ume, Larchmont Mamaroneck Community News. Alice Modell brought us Pajama Storytime. Randy Norum dealt us some financial facts. Mayor Paul Noto took us inside Mamaroneck. Our youngest producer, Grant Nishanian, showed us the Ragamuffin Parade. Dee O'Brien's The Twelfth Night. Report from the State Senate with our own Senator Susie Oppenheimer. Mamaroneck historian Gloria Pritz met with 100-year-old Mamaroneck resident Louis D. Francesco. Sally Salerno entertained us with sensational sounds. Nancy Seligson of the Long Island Sound Task Force taught us how to test your harbor. Also in 92, there was Sports Talk with Ross and Alex, part of Eleanor Sherman's Kids TV Workshop. Reverend Bill Shillity's Mamaroneck United Methodist Church Services. Dr. Alan Singer's Fitness Break. For the Fireman's Carnival, Do You Believe in Magic by Debbie Slansky. The Tall Ships on Long Island Sound and Nancy St. Lifer's Op Sale 92. Mitch Stern's classic soap opera, Romantic Triangles. Chuck Taylor's Community Sports Network. Carol West's Scary, Trick or Treat on 36. Lisa Wunderler's Tai Chi 92. And Marie Zakaria's Portraits in Culture with the Japanese American Mothers Association. Let's not forget all the programs by our community organizations, like the Junior League of Westchester on the Sound's presentation of the Health Fair at New Rochelle Hospital, the League of Women Voters Congressional Candidates Debate, and Voice Special, 
by the French Welcome Service. The Emlyn Trio. The Emlyn Chorus. Rynek and Mamaroneck High School Graduation. Rynek Schools Report. Know your schools. Saturday Stories from the Mamaroneck Library. And of course, Mamaroneck Village and Town Board Meetings. LMC TV also cablecasts programs from outside sources like Jerusalem Online, Deep Dish TV, UK Today, Social Security and You, and Everyone's Channel. Larchmont Mamaroneck Community Television thanks our community producers and organizations and reminds you to catch some of our own homespun programs like the live severe weather updates. Live Firemen's Parade and Carnival, the Sadie Hawkins Dance, Lincoln in Illustrated Biography, and Roberta Peters at the Emlyn Theater. Thanks to the Larchmont and Mamaroneck community for watching and making LMC TV. Transportation for tonight's guests provided by Windish Limousine Service, where comfort is king. Accommodations for tonight's guests provided by the lovely Larchmont Motel. They'll keep the light on for you. Thanks for watching the fourth annual LMC TV Awards presentation program. If you would care to get involved with LMC TV, contact the Palmer Avenue Studio in Mamaroneck High School across the street from Walters Hot Dogs at 698-6808. Or call Studio 2 at the Mamaroneck Free Library just off the Imlin Theater Lobby at 381-0131. Thanks for watching. I'm Roger Norum. called Scary Stories 3. My name is Jamie Colangelo and I'm visiting the Maronick from Florida. Scary Stories 3 is about, it has scary stories that I'll chill your bones. I'll tell you a little bit about my favorite story. There was a man named George Flint. He had a wife named Minnie. There was an old lady in the village that had died. She was in the church, and anyone who wanted to could see her. If you want to find out m more about this story or other ones in this book, read Scary Stories 3. Can I stop smiling? No. <laughs> do you want to do it again? Yeah, I think so. Maybe you all start here. Think you should go to the other man and have like live people and then talk. But they don't have it. Should I just say at the end, if you want to read Scary Stories 3, go to the Mamaroneck Public Library and ask for a Scary Stories 3. Think Hi, my name is Jamie Colangelo and I read a book called Scary Stories 3. I'm visiting the Maronick from Florida. I'll tell you a little bit about my favorite story. There was a man named George Flint. He had a wife named Minnie. There was an old lady in the town that had died. She was in the church for anyone who wanted to could see her. If you want to know more about this story and other ones too, you, you can read Scary Stories 3. You can go to Mamaroneck Public Library and ask for Scary Stories 3. Okay, that was great. I said that too fast.
and, and pointed towards Jack, Jack Cameron. Are you, are you seeing Jordan? Jordan? Got it? All Got right. it. Okay, now you know you'll be looking in this camera first, and this camera, and back to this camera. Mm, can All point. Yeah. All point. Hi, my name is Katie, and I'm going to be, and I just read this neat book called Best Enemies. It's about this girl named Priscilla and her enemy, Felicity. Let me tell you a little about what happens. Well, Priscilla's looking forward to meeting new friends in her new class, but Felicity does not exactly what she has in mind. Felicity may not know how to be a friend, which makes the best enemy Priscilla's ever had. I'm risky. <laughs> you want to start from halfway? Yeah, because I can find my stuff. You, you can start really from halfway stuff. in between. You know where you were meant to take to. Can you just keep it up? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Relax. Okay, and I'll point you there. Okay, good. All right. Hi, my name is Katie, and I just read this neat new book called Best Enemies. It's about this girl named Priscilla and her enemy, Felicity. Let me tell you a little about what happens. Priscilla is looking forward to meeting new friends in a new class, but Felicity does not exactly what she has in mind. Felicity steals her new sweater, makes fun of her new shoes, and almost, but not quite, ruins her birthday party. Felicity may not know how to be a friend, but she makes the best enemy Priscilla's ever had. If you like this book, you'll definitely like this book. Best enemies again. So if I were you, I'd go out to Maronic Library and ask for best enemies and best enemies again. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lauren Fishman, and I just read a great book called Stormy, Misty's Fall. It's about Misty, the, Misty, the mother, who was the filly of the great Phantom the Great. Um, I forgot. Yeah, we can start now. Next time, if you find yourself coming to a blank or something, just wait, it'll come back to you, and it, it doesn't look bad. You think it looks bad, but it doesn't look bad. You can continue, but anyway. We'll start over. Can you tell them to go away from the window? Can I just look at my piece of paper again? Sure, Hi, my name is Lauren Fishman, and I just read a great book called Stormy, Misty Fall. It is about Stormy. It is about Misty, the mother, who is the filly of the great the famous Phantom the Great. Um, the, a boy and a girl got her, the filly and taught her lots of tricks. She grew up and was going to have a baby. All the babies, her owners, kept their eyes on her every minute. Meanwhile, outside, a storm was brewing up, so everyone went inside. All, um, there, Lots of chickens were drowned and horses and lots of other things. The storm was so bad that the babies had to go to the town, the town fire depart, firehouse. Guess where Stormy stayed? Guess where Misty stayed? In the house. After the storm, After the storm was over, the storm lasted like a week or so. After the storm was over and all the dead things were cleared away, Misty went to the vet. There, that is where Stormy was born. And that is all I'm going to tell you about this book. If you like the sound of it, there are two books before that you could read. My friend, 
my friend is going to tell you a bit about them. But this is what it's called. Misty of Chincoteague, then Sea Star, and then Stormy. So why don't you go so why don't you go try it and take my advice? Enjoy. I messed up. Hi, my name is Ashley Colangelo, and I just read this new book called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It's about a boy named Charlie who went, was at school one day and found out there was five golden tickets and five chocolate bars. <laughs> I don't know there's people in here. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ashley. I just read this new book called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It's about a boy. He's his name is Charlie. And and he he's very, very poor. One day he was at school and found out one of his favorite chocolate bars had five golden tickets in it. And then he said, I want to get a golden ticket. So he kept on eating and eating and eating. And if he got a golden ticket, he could bring one adult with him. If you want to know if Charlie got one of the golden tickets, read Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. At your, at Marinic Public Library. That was great. That was great. Great job. <laughs> Great job. I forgot what I was going to say, so I didn't. It was, no, it was fine. Hello, my name is Robin Park, and I just read this great book called Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. And it was about a little girl named Fern who loved a little pig named Wilbur, and Wilbur's best friend, Charlotte saved Wilbur's life with the help of Templeton, a rat who who would do something for anyone only if, if there was something in it for him. So if you want to know how Wilbur saved Charlotte's life, read this book. And if you enjoy this book, you would also like Stuart Little and Trumpet of a Swan, also by the same author. All right, excellent. First take, one take, wonder. Hi, my name is V. Lee, and I'm reading this wonderful book called Misty of Chincoteague. Um, it's about a horse, and it's called, and they have to swim across a uh, sea, the sea to go to the human's island. And the boy helps um, the, ho the horse and the cult. And um, the, the horse, um, goes back to its island and the, the cult stays. And if you want to know more, then read the book by Margaret Henry. Another one take wonder. Very good, very good. <clears throat> wait, wait. Hi, my name is Nui, and I just read a great book called Number of the Stars. It's by Louise Lowry, and it's about a girl named Anna Marie Johansson and um, her best friend, Ellen Rosen. It takes place when the Nazis were capturing the Jews. Ellen Rosen um, is Jewish and is about to be captured by the Nazis. Anna Marie is trying to um, save her best friend's life. If you want to know how, then read this book. You could borrow it from the Mameronek Library. 
All right, great. Perfect. One. Hi, my name is Jamie. Hi, my name is Katie. Hi, my name is Ashley. At Katie Ashley and I just read a neat book called The Secret Garden. It's about a girl who discovered the secret garden. <laughs> read The Secret Garden and find out more. Perfect. You uh, should not say it's called the secret garden because it makes every, I mean, you say the secret Start with this one and then I'll point to this one. Okay. So which one should I look at first? That one? That one. Hi, we're back again with three more great books. My name is Robin. And I'm Lauren again. And we have three um, books for you. They're really old, and no, they're left in the library. No one really reads them. First, here's Heidi. Well, nobody reads old books because they're more old. They don't really have um, color for color front covers and stuff like that. But they're really wonderful stories. Like Heidi's about this girl who lives with her grandfather. And like this one, Little House in the Big Woods. This is about a little girl who's, who's, who just moved. And Betsy. There's a series of Betsy books. Can we start over? We thought you were going to keep the books on the, sh on the uh, table, I thought. Or, I mean, I thought that. I don't know why. Why did you want to start over? She messed up. Okay, it wasn't mine. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Apologies, no need to apologize. No complaining, no explaining. That's my motto. <laughs> and don't let them catch you. <laughs> <laughs> don't let them catch you. <laughs> 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 okay. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Hi, we're back again with some more great books for you. My name's Lauren Fishman, again, and my name is Robin Park. We, we have three more uh, great books for you. A lot of, there are a lot of old books in the um, Maranek Public Library, and people just don't look at them because they don't have terrific colors. Like take Heidi, for instance, even though it's co colorful. It's about a little girl who lives with her grandfather. And a little house in the big woods. A little girl who just moved. And Betsy. These are books that are old, but they have such wonderful stories. There's thousands of them. We, but we just picked out the ones that we liked especially. They're a series of this one, Betsy books, and they're a series of Little House in the Big Woods. Some of the books that are so they're so old they've made movies out of them. The first one is by Carolyn Haywood. The second is by Tom. Uh, the second is by Jonas Spy, Spy, Spyry. The third is by Laura Ingalls Wilder. And they're terrific books. So why don't you go to the Merrick Public Library and look at some of these old books in there? Bye.